Hello everyone, Executo here. Please enjoy this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and Facebook. Get aesthetic, brah. Hey guys, Executo here and today's tips are how to get shredded. Tip number one, low carbs. So for me, for instance, I'm not gonna be having white bread, not tons of pasta, all that stuff. I do play hockey, so I still have to have carbs, but I usually have those carbs before hockey, so like two hours to three hours before, depending what it is. Obviously, pasta takes longer than bread and, and all those little um, quick carbs, because pasta is a long digesting carbs, so it's gonna take a lot longer to digest. Gives you energy. All carbohydrates, <laughs> carbohydrates give you energy, and what the energy does, obviously, you can use it in the gym, you can use it when you go work out, um, anything really hockey for, for my sake and the gym as well. Um, but really carbs, what it all does is give you energy. So if you eat carbs and you don't use that energy for really anything, it just stores into fat. So it turns into fat and no one really wants that. So that's why people take low carb diets and it's kind of common sense, you know, if you're not gonna be using that energy, it's just gonna turn fat. So why have carbs when you're not gonna really do much? You know, you should still have carbs, but um, just try not to have as much as many people would. Um, you could obviously make your own diet plan, stuff like that. Mainly low carbs will get you to lose fat and really make you shredded in general. But yeah, overall guys, um, mainly have your vegetables. Get your get your carbs from vegetables, a lot of vegetables. Vegetables are always good for you. Cleans out your system, everything. Fiber, there's tons of stuff guys, but low carbs is a great way to stay shredded. Doing HIIT training. So I've talked about this in another video about HIIT training and what it is and how it's high pace and low pace and it's constantly going up and down. Your heart rate is going up and it's going down. It's allowing to burn fat. But HIIT training is a type of cardio that you do for about 10 minutes after your workout. Some people do it before, some people do it during. It really all depends on what you like, what you want to do. For me personally, I feel like doing it after uh, lifting weights. So after doing like uh, bench, triceps or or all that weightlifting, you know, um, I would do for about 10 minutes, maybe 15, change it up, sometimes do a walk, sometimes not necessarily a walk, but like a sprint, or do a bike, or do sprinting without actually being on the treadmill. Um, change it up, you know, make it fun. Hit training is usually something you don't get bored of. It's something you're always going up and down in. You're not just doing a constant pace of cardio of like slowly going. You can do that, people do that. But I'm just saying it's like, it's the type of cardio that's quick, fast paced, makes you more athletic, makes you burn that fat and really just overall is a great, great source for being shredded. Tip number three and four actually are drop sets and supersets. So what drop sets allow you to do is to burn that muscle when it's already fatigued from lifting that weight. So you're, let's say you're doing a heavy set, six to eight, and your muscle's already deplenished and all that, and it's tired and can't do no more. You take away really low, um, go as many reps as you can till failure, or really to a certain amount, depending on what set you're on. Usually towards the end of the set, you're gonna be doing, um, not towards the end of the set, but towards the end of the exercise, you're gonna be doing a set where there's a drop set where it's more of a burn, so you kind of go to failure. Um, and what that allows you to do is to burn that muscle. So for instance, if I do it with the chest a lot, it's gonna show more striations in my chest. And what striations are, are the lines to show like the lines. I don't know how to explain that, but it's really like the muscle. You can see the muscle. You can really see the muscle. You can see all the lines. And what those lines are is your muscle tissue pretty much showing where it attaches and all that. It just shows your shreddedness <laughs> it, it to put it into a uh, quick term. But that's really what it does um, doing drop sets. It allows you to burn that muscle, allows you to burn that fat, particularly on that muscle. So if I did it for bicep slots, it would do that as well. For abs, it's hard to say. Um, to, lo to lose lower abdominal fat and like chest and like those, um, the sides, I think curves um, on the side of your body, um, it's gonna be more cardio based because those are the areas where most of your fat does get um, put. Just this is naturally how every human is. It's usually the lower lower abdominals, the lower chest, stuff like that. You're gonna have to do your cardio, you're gonna be, have to be eating right. But um, drop sets will help. Trust me, drop sets do help. Now with supersets, what supersets allows you to do is you do two different exercises at once. So you're tired already doing bicep curls, then you go straight into tricep curls. But your triceps are still good because you just worked your biceps. So your body's still working, your heart rate's still high, and you're constantly burning fat. It just kind of makes sense. You're constantly working. Um, you're not overworking yourself because you're not doing tons and tons of biceps. What you're doing is changing it up and it's kind of like a circuit in a way. Circuits are also really good. I guess that could be my number five. Circuits. Circuits allows you to hit more than one muscle at once. So you could do uh, three sets of, for instance, a circuit where you do burpees, push-ups, uh, sit-ups. So it kind of hits your whole body and allows you to get like a full body workout, burn all that fat. It's a little bit different the way I train because I do have to do that for hockey. Of course, circuit training is kind of like 
the main thing about training outside of the ice rink when I play hockey. But I mainly do weights, then cardio after. But if you do do circuit, it is a great workout. You do still build muscle because you are strengthening those muscles you do work. Um, it's high pace, so your heart rate's always high. So you're always burning that fat. You're always burning those calories, all those foods that you just ate. Um, what else, really? I mean, it's overall great, great thing to start with, especially if you don't go to the gym much, circuits are probably the best way to strengthen a lot of your um, <clears throat> muscles, like your rotator cuff, anything really, because you're using more body weight and it's more like calisthenics in a way. So circuits are really good, drop sets, supersets, all that good stuff. So those are just some quick tips, guys, on how to stay shredded. Um, there's a lot of a lot of other tips, obviously, out there. I will tell you more later in the future. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. All that good stuff, guys. I know I'm getting a lot more subscribers now, a lot more views, a lot more likes. And it really does mean a lot, guys. So thank you very much. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get us there.